buyers in the affordable adventure tourist segment are spoiled for choice. The reign starts from the humble Hero Expels 200 and goes all the way to the tech-laden KTM 390 Adventure. But we want to discuss two products that sit in the mid-price range. And the two candidates that catch the attention are the Royal Enfield Himalayan and the BMW G310GS. The two motorcycles take a complete different approach when it comes to styling. The Royal Enfield Himalayan packs a subtle design with minimalistic body panels. The functional design comprises of metal fuel tank with protectors on either side, a tall windscreen, split-style seats and wire spoke wheels. There is very little to break in case of a fall and all these features suit the off-road biased persona of the Himalayan. The G310GS, on the other hand, features a modern look that is emphasized by premium hardware such as full LED lighting, a digital instrument cluster and upside-down front forks. However, unlike the Himalayan, the G310GS uses fiber panels, a relatively shorter windscreen and alloy wheel setup instead of wire spoke wheels. The G310GS isn't designed to be a rugged off-roader like the Himalayan. Thus, while it can do a fair amount of off-roading, the BMW Adventure Tourer aims to strike a balance between on- and off-road riding. Thus, it comes with 19-inch front wheel instead of a 21-inch unit that is seen on the Himalayan. Both motorcycles feature dual-purpose tyres, although the 21-inch unit on the Himalayan gives far more confidence while off-roading, while the 19-inch wheel on the G310GS delivers better on-road character. But what about the features? Does the G310GS outrun the Royal Enfield Himalayan in that department? The Baby GS packs premium hardware such as full LED lighting and a digital instrument cluster, features that are getting more common on new two-wheelers. However, it misses out on Bluetooth connectivity, which doesn't work in its favour. The Himalayan, despite carrying a relatively lower spec feature list that includes an analog instrument cluster, benefits from Royal Enfield's tripper navigation function. The new tripper navigation function connects to a smartphone via Bluetooth and displays turn-by-turn -turn navigation on the instrument cluster while your phone is safely tucked away in your pocket. Thus, despite the relatively lower spec feature list, the Himalayan has an edge over the GS. Similar to their designs, the engine on the two motorcycles are very different. While the Himalayan uses an air and oil cooled engine with a single overhead camshaft setup that makes 24.3 bhp, the G310 GS benefits from a liquid cooled engine that makes 33.5 bhp. That's about 10 bhp more than the Royal Enfield Himalayan. The G310 GS also tips the weighing scale at 175 kilos, which is 24 kilograms lighter than the 199 kg Royal Enfield Himalayan, thus giving the former a better power to weight ratio. While both motorcycles can easily cruise at highway speeds, the G310 GS can clock miles faster than the Himalayan. However, the Himalayan makes up for the lack of highway performance with its off road capabilities. A single overhead camshaft delivers better torque towards the low end while a dual overhead camshaft setup offers better top end performance. This particular character is crucial for off-road motorcycles as better low end grunt comes handy while riding in the dirt. The BMW, as mentioned before, is better equipped than the Himalayan. The Baby GS comes with upside down front forks and a rare monoshock while the Himalayan uses conventional telescopic forks at the front and a rare monoshock. Moreover, the levers on the G310GS are adjustable while the Himalayan misses out on the feature. The braking setup too is better on the G310GS. While both motorcycles feature a 300mm front and a 240mm rear disc, the BMW comes with a 4-piston caliper at the front while the Himalayan uses a 2-piston caliper. A switchable dual-channel ABS is standard on both vehicles. The off-road biased wire spoke wheels on the Himalayan are rugged, but they come with the compromise of tube-type tyres that are harder to fix in case of a puncture. The BMW on the other hand uses alloy wheels that are wrapped in tubeless tyres, thus giving additional points to the G310GS. So, which one should you buy? The BMW G310GS comes with much better hardware and performance than the Royal Enfield Himalayan, which makes it an ideal choice for anyone who's looking for a highway mile muncher. However, 
the baby GS retails at a premium price tag of Rs 2.90 lakh. While the price of the BS6 model is about 60,000 cheaper than the BS4 G310 GS, it is about 1 lakh more expensive than the Himalayan, which is a massive gap. The Himalayan on the other hand is a functional package that would not blow a hole in your bank account and is a better off-roader than the G310 GS. Moreover, if you select the Himalayan over the G310 GS, you'd be left with a sufficient amount of money to accessorize the Himalayan with hard panniers and purchase yourself a full set of riding gears. So the choice boils down to your preference. If you are looking for a highway tourer that can do a fair amount of soft roading, the G310 GS is a perfect motorcycle for you. People looking for a perfect companion to explore the wilderness will have a ball on the Himalayan.